Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlisle. Please wait. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carla this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Mr. Whitmer, thank God you're here. Can I take you to Madame Carlyle? Yes, please. If you'd follow me. I know I oughtn't say anything, but I'm so relieved you're here. Everything's just so strange. Preparing for Madame's funeral, and then she turns up alive. But then the awful business with her brother Zachary, and, and all this security. Oh, by the way, I've never seen a place guarded like this, and, and, and I dare well, say I, I don't like it at all. Either. This is what I mean. You have to be patted down before you see Madame Carlyle inside. Oh, I could just cry. She's a sensible woman, and that stuff from your ex is like manipulation 101. I know. I guess I thought she was going to read into them and freak out. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone 
in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Probably at the graveyard. Can you just pop down and have a look? For a button, sir? That's what I said, wasn't it? Right. What colour? White. Please be quick about it, okay? Can't go without my button now, can I? I'll have a look. So how does one Patrick solve Carla. a murder mystery, 47? Can you tell me where you Motive were yesterday? Motive means evening? an opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask... Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Gregory Carlyle. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Emma Carlyle. Can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well... Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. But you're right. Weird. Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell... That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder, but I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. 
Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? I'd rather she knew who she's up against. Just keep calm. She's clever and resourceful. Who knows, maybe she I wonder what you would do. Attack? Regroup? Close the gates and wait it out? Zachary. At least you never got to learn that the horrible thing we did was for nothing. To protect the Carlyle legacy, what bollocks. It's all gone, I think. That bloody other little tad I got for you. <laughs> okay. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. An old letter, 47. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly 46 years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother, Montgomery, wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. That is the door to Rebecca's room. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. If you frame it correctly, I believe you could use the information to convince Madame Carlyle that Zachary committed suicide. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Maybe you should ask Mr. Fernsby to see her. Or perhaps you feel like digging a bit more. This all confirms that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Edward is not coping too well with the situation. I'm ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. 
Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the Lion's Den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Please, go ahead. Your brother committed suicide. I need to see some evidence to believe that, Mr. Whitmer. Zachary was found dead in a room locked from the inside. He died. to leave the pit. Oh, before I get to that, your reward, the file you want is in the safe. Hello, sir. A last wish from... A last wish Good work, from 47. Woman. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Get. Edwards. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. And make him suffer. So long. I need some privacy. Thank you. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills. I expected you'd show up. But you're not here to kill me. If you were, you would have already. The enemy of my enemy, I suppose. You can have it. You earned it. Please remain seated, Mr. Wright. Where were we? file you want is in the safe. Good hunting. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take... Your niece, Emma Carlyle, murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's...
Please remain seated, Mr. Whitmer. Right, where were we? The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Thank you. The file you want is in the safe. The file you want is in the safe. Good work, 47. God. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. I need some privacy. Thank you. Mission complete. Well done, 47. The file you want is in the safe. The file you want is in the safe. Good Go work, on. 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Seven. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine! Shit! 